Key West Day Cigar Club, Art Director Carly, live in the building. We got a lot of content coming. We're going to hang out with Danny from Rodriguez Cigars. Got a lot of gear, too much gear, uh, but it's for you. We're gonna bring you guys behind the scenes of what it's like to work with Rodriguez Cigar Factory in beautiful Key West, Florida. Thanks for coming along with us. It's vlog day number one, Cigar Club family. Private jet flight down here, courtesy of American. We appreciate it. Welcome to Key West. What's up? Guys, we're here. One of my favorite places in the entire world. There it is. The Rodriguez Cigar Factory in Key West. We've made it. Flight's done. It's showtime. We're walking in. We'll see Danny DeFabio, the owner in here, and uh, Man, can't wait to bring you guys into this for the rest of the week while we're here in Key West, uh, working on new cigars, new projects for you all, and just enjoying the Key West and Rodriguez lifestyle uh, right here. A lot of you I know have been here. If you haven't, you need to get here, take a tour, smoke cigars with Danny, get to know him, and get to know these incredible blends. Uh, oh, there, there he is now, folks. You get to take two, dude. Yeah, huh? you get to say Cigar Club family now. Cigar Club family. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's having a hard time getting this out, but uh, he's here. Know, he's chewing here. Something right now. He's, he's chewing something, is, is what we're going with. <laughs> we're having serious mic troubles today, folks. It's all part of the vlogs here on the Cigar Club.com YouTube channel. It's a very, very a beautiful uh, traditional cigarillo size. Yeah something that we've been making here since the first day that we've opened in 1984. Seriously? Yeah, it's, uh, it's called a Loringcita. It's named after my uh, grandmother's uh, older sister. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> she was a little small. <laughs> small lady, but uh, very loving. Guys, we're getting the full behind the scenes here. This is, so, and all these, this whole production is made here in Key West. Yeah, this one here is too. She we, was making these today when we walked in. Yeah, this is a very, very small production. Wow. This is nothing that's wholesale, nothing that's out in the in You buy it from you and you only. This is the only spot where you can get these uh, cigarillos from. And is that like a quality, well, like, it's like you, a, it's, it, a, it's a production thing at this point. These things have been made here for 37 years and it's just really, really difficult to, 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 to have them. Yeah, absolutely. Guys, I was called up to the big leagues to press some molds. Hello. I don't know how good of a job was done or not done, but Hello. here they are in all their glory. Uh, these, all these cigars will be ready to be, to have wrapper put on them in the near future. Um, but that is the current step in the process they're in right now. And you never, you never know, you never know what Danny's gonna be doing. So we're just gonna stay on him. Cause he could start making stuff. He was making cigars earlier, like you saw, sorting uh, cigars for bundles. We're putting stuff in press and molds. It's go, go, go here all the time. Actually. All right, folks, uh, how to roll a cigar with the ever experienced Dave Ember, featuring my compatriot here and grasshopper, Danny DeFabio. Uh, Danny's gonna show me how to roll a cigar. I don't know how this is gonna go, but uh, stay tuned. It's what we're all about here. All right, well, the first thing you have to do is to say an Our Father and a Hail Mary. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right, here we go. Ooh. Also, I love this. Love it. Oh, yeah. Oh. We gotta get some of these. Oh, 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 oh. So this is all wrapper, leaf. All right. Ecuador. Mm -hmm. Connecticut. Open that up. Okay. Start off with that. Get one leaf out. Take one out. I'm already scared I'm gonna break it. All right, so this is the first this thing you're going to do. It's a lot thinner than you think it is. You're going to open it up okay. and start stretching it out. All right. You're going to gain the wrinkles out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So how, this seems more pliable than like filler tobacco and stuff. Is that because you, you kind of wet it to make it pliable and that's why it has to it's completely dry and age? Texture, completely different texture. It has moisture on it. Filler leaves need to be dry. Got it. And this needs to be a little more damp so it's pliable. To work right? with, and then when we go to the aging process, that's what we have it. to extract. 
and balance the, the product to humidification standards. All right, how are we looking? Good, flip that leaf. Towards me. All right, upside down. All right, now, the first thing you gotta look at is the contour of the leaf, all right? We're not gonna create that same contour right now. We're gonna start here and then kind of get more straight with that contour. So it doesn't have to be a cut that rolls all the way around. Exactly. You be from here all the way to there. Okay. All right? So you're gonna hold this blade like this. All right. All right, you're gonna work point to point on your cuts. So up top, you should have two cuts and you're done. And then okay. I'm gonna draw an imaginary line with my finger and you're gonna cut over that as well. Okay. All right? All right. There you go. And so what's the purpose of, of cutting this so that it it lines up correctly when you roll it into the it's cigar. Playing construction with the seam. Okay? All right. How's so, the form so far? You like so it? far we're good. Okay. All right. So now just follow my line. Okay. Start off here. All right. Too thick. Too thick. Go. All right. You see how you're straight now? Yeah. See how you wanted to leak out? No. You have to follow some type of that contour. So this from here needs to be going that way now. Okay. And if you want, you can lean the blade to you like that, and then follow that line, semi. Okay. Now you see it straight here? Yeah. You're gonna have to round that out. Gonna get a little bit of a divot. Yeah, round that out. Okay, good. From here, from here, to there. Now. All right, good. Check and cut. Okay. It is, does it round at the end? Or I guess a little I... bit. Follow the same contour as that one. Go. Go. Separate. Pick up where you left off. Are we liking this? So good. Follow it through? Yep, let's go from there to there now. Now, see that? Yep. Go from here, cut inside, and get that little green thing in. all the way there to that point. One more thing. Good. That again. Good. All right. This this one's speaking to me. Now, lay that parallel right here, just like that. Okay. You're gonna fold this over. Two fingers, three fingers, and a thumb with the right hand like that, not pushing on the cigar, but placing it on top. And then your left hand, you're gonna use these two fingers. And your thumb's gonna be like that. Okay? Okay. The thumb and then the pointer is gonna roll throughout along the vein. Just like that. That's one. Two is tension back to this corner, mainly and keeping this stable and parallel with that. You don't want okay. to move it around like this. Right. So three fingers, four fingers on that cigar is gonna stabilize that from there to there. So you need to move, get your hands here and get four fingers on that cigar so you could feel, okay, the stability okay. and maintain that, all right? And keeping it so tight while I... Pull to this corner, a little bit more. See how you're bowing in? Oh yeah. Maintain that parallel, a little bit more, more. More, ready to stop. Now roll the cigar to your finger. And as you're rolling, you're creeping up the cigar like a, like a typewriter. That right there on the vein, on the vein. Tension back. Now roll to your hand. Boy, don't stay in the same spot. Typewriter hand. All right, stop. Lift your left hand up off the leaf. Find a new vein, good placement. Tension two, back to that corner. Okay, now roll the cigar. Creep up, ready to stop, roll back. Unroll, got a little mistake here. We were a little too aggressive on our finger placement. So what we'll do is we'll go from here. Pick up where you left off. This is just putting the wrapper on this thing, by the way. And uh, it's, we're at like three minutes and I can't even get one done. <laughs> get your technique right. <laughs> Pull the tension back. Tension back, typewriter hand, coming in hot. Go, There you go. New vein, tension two, maintain stability. Go forward. Good job. Good job. Stop. What's that? It's a glue. Glue. The tree sap? Yep. So finger on that vein right there, get your technique right. Tension, tension two. 
all the way, roll through. There you go. Don't get at the head of the cigar. Get away from it. Good. Stop. Show me that cigar vertically. Twist. Twist the cigar. Finish that twist on top with your right hand. Nope. Turn your hand oh. all the way. Huh? There you go. Drop it down. Turn it around. Blade. Too, too much. Cut more off. See your fingers? Finish the tip. Finish the tip. Up here? Yep. With those two fingers. Wait, no. Yes. Yes. Twist the cigar. Don't twist the twist. Oh, I Get see. Get away from the head of the cigar. The, mo the middle of the cigar. Yes. Now twist it. Yes. We're twisting. Twist in the middle so she can get shots and it's proper. Awesome. Now you're gonna go ahead and get this. Calm it down. Go. Go. It's not bad, dude. I gotta roll it out, right? There you go. Ah, there we go. Maybe you for me when you got out one. I'll see. This is my. <laughs> there it is, folks. Okay. In all of its glory. Uh, so that's it. That's all you got to do to roll a cigar. Uh, you know, a couple rolls, a couple cuts. Uh, we didn't even do the filler placement in this. So anyway, this, this is a great example as to what actually goes into doing this. Um, it's actually mind-blowing, the art and, and work that goes into making a cigar. So there it is. How to roll a cigar uh, featuring a white guy and uh, a Cuban legend. Thank you. <laughs> Man. We just got uh, back to the hotel and we're getting ready to go out to eat and spend the evening with Danny and his team over at the Rodriguez Cigar Factory. Um, man, I'm, I'm so excited with how today has gone. We've really been brainstorming a lot of the cool videos that we wanna shoot. Everything from how to roll a cigar to a little sneak peek behind what it's gonna be like if you ever came down here to get a tour uh, of the Rodriguez Cigar Factory with Danny. We've got podcasts planned for tomorrow, boat trips, drones, the whole nine. Uh, thank you guys for hanging out and checking out vlog number one, day one in Key West. It's off to a great start. We've got some more. We'll bring you guys out to dinner with us. We'll grab some drinks. It'll be a good time. Uh, we're gonna reset, charge up the cameras, and uh, figure out what we're gonna be smoking and eating. Later, tonight, Key West. It's here and it's going down. If you guys wanna see more content like this, just let us know. It makes it, uh, we, got, we got mopeds going by. It makes it that much more exciting to sit down and shoot this stuff if I know that's stuff you guys really want to see. So we'll keep it coming uh, if that's something that you guys want. But we're live from Key West. Rodriguez Cigars Cigar Club. The collabs, the partnerships, the family. That's what it's all about. Talk to you guys soon.